Secret TV. Hi, I'm Rebecca Gilling from Planet Ark, and you're on City Search. Everybody these days wants the most sustainable home they can get, and of course it's um, it's law anyway, so you don't have too many options. But the homes we were designing even five or ten years ago uh, are nowhere near as the home uh, as sustainable as the homes that we're designing these days. So most people want to take advantage of the cost savings in having a more sustainable home. So we sell solar electricity, and we've actually just um, basically been dealing in monocrystalline panels. It's a really good time to buy solar electricity because at the moment there is a feed-in tariff of 60 cents, which is roughly double what people are paying for their electricity. So it is definitely worthwhile installing solar panels, letting them generate electricity during the daytime. We have a system here called ReadyWall, which is equivalent to a traditional brick veneer construction. Again, has a higher energy rating. It's got an R2.8 energy rating on the outside, and the foam insulation panels you see here are on the outside of the home, so you're actually stopping the heat getting into the home. There's a trend back towards natural materials, natural stones, natural tiles, uh, timbers, natural colours, um, moving away from some of the synthetic materials, the plastics and so forth, and, and people are really wanting that kind of integrated natural sustainable building but uh, of course they're wanting it uh, they're wanting it in an urban environment the sugarcane pulp which has been pressed in the panel is using heat and force basically put into a mold compressed out comes the paneling it's all about bringing the outside in i think we've heard it a hundred times but it's it's really maximizing the space that you have in your home uh, and maximizing the livability of your property so that you can use it uh, 12 months of the year not just when it's warm and dry So I'm Chris from Planet Ark and we've, uh, we've teamed up recently with Wouldn't That Be Better uh, and it's all about the fact that wood stores carbon and wood has a relatively low embodied energy uh, which means that uh, it gives off less carbon dioxide in its production. Um, so basically using wood we're keeping most of the, wood, uh, most of the carbon on the surface of the earth and um, less in the atmosphere. So using wood in your buildings, uh, in your furniture, uh, we know, I think most of us know about the carbon cycle, about the way in which trees draw in carbon from the atmosphere and breathe out ox oxygen, so they're the lungs of the earth, if you like. Uh, but I, I, I think people don't understand that ca that carbon is actually stored in the wood. Charlie's aiming about educating to, to school, to younger kids, um, and, the, and the role that, um, that CO2 uh, or carbon dioxide out in the atmosphere, it's impacting on the planet, um, and what we need to be doing is working out how we can capture that carbon dioxide, so either carbon capture and lock it away. So if you're doing your own renovations, I always suggest that you do a bit of homework. So look through magazines, get on the net, rip out pictures and pages and jot down notes on information so that you can quiz tradespeople on those sorts of things and get answers very quickly rather than just going into somebody and saying, oh, it's kind of after this thing that looked like this thing. So yeah, the more homework you do this yourself, the easier it will be. Secret TV.